أعزائي طلاب وطالبات الصف الخامس الابتدائي أهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من مادة العلوم باللغة الإنجليزية تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Welcome dear student. In this episode, we will review unit number two and unit three. So let's start our revision. Revision on units two and three. First, let's start with the first lesson on unit two. Mixtures. Who remember what is mixtures? We said in this lesson many things, types of matter, and we will say what is a type of matter. There are two types of matter, pure matter and mixture. في نوعين من المادة أي مادة ممكن تكون موجودة في نوعين نوع إما يكون نقي pure matter pure means contain only one type of identical particles or mixture contain consists of more than one type of particle, so it's mixture. After that, types of mixtures. There are many types of mixtures like solid-solid mixture, liquid-liquid mixture, gaseous-gaseous mixture, gaseous-liquid mixture. All of them are types of mixtures. Properties of mixtures. We said mixture have three properties. Who remember them? Who can tell me properties of mixtures? إيه هي خصائص المكسر؟ Three. First, yes. Component of mixture can be separated easily. نقدر نفصلهم بكل سهولة. Number two. Each component keep its own property. Why keep its own property? Because they, they don't mix together. Each component keep its own property. Like onion and fruit salad. Keep its taste. Keep its color. So it keeps its own property. Number three, component can be mixed at any ratio. نقدر نخلط الكومبوننت المكونات تحت المكسشر بأي نسبة ويفضل مكسشر ما يتغيرش. After property, we studied formation of mixture. How we can form mixture if we have different substance. Can we form mixture out of this substance? Yes, we can. We can do that by three methods. One of three methods. Like what? Yes. Shaking, stirring, and grinding. Formation of mixture can be mixed by shaking, stirring, or grinding. Three methods. After that, separation of mixture. As we can do or we can make mixture, also we can separate some mixtures. Separation of mixture, mixture, can be separated by many ways, like magnetic attraction, if the mixture contains magnetic substance, and non-magnetic substance, like sand and iron filing. And filtration. Filtration, if we have mixture, contain liquid substance and immiscible substance. Substance do not dissolve in the solvent or in water, like sand and water. So we can separate sand from water by filtration. Super. If the substance dissolve in water, like salt and water, sugar and water, so we cannot separate them using filtration process. So we can use another process which called evaporation. Amazing. The other process, we can separate different liquid, mixture of liquid. But we have just one condition. We have, the liquid must be immiscible liquid. Immiscible liquid do not mix together like oil and water. Oil and water do not mix together. So they are immiscible liquids. عشان كده الليكويد اللي هو الأويل بنلاقيه float on the surface of water. في separating surface بينهم. في في سطح بيفصل الووتر عن الأويل. مش بيختلطوا ببعض حتى لو اختلطوا لفتره صغيره يرجعوا ينفصلوا تاني هنستخدم بروسس اسمها ايه؟ هنستخدم طريقه جديده اسمها ايه؟ في اسمها سيباريتنج فانل بيرفكت سو وي كان يوز ماجنتيك اتراكشن فلتريشن ايفابوريشن اور سيباريتنج فانل تو سيباريت ميكسشرز سو ذاتس از ذا هول ليسن سو ليتس انسر سام كويستشن Define the concept of mixture. What is mixture? As we said before, 
mixture. It is a substance that cons consists of more than one type of particles. That's why its mixture consists of more than one type of particles. Like this concrete. Concrete consists of many types of particles. Consists of water, sand, cement, rocks. So they are more, more than one. So it's mixture. Here is another question. Name some mixture and identify the type of each in a table. So let's draw a table and mention mixture and the type. The first mixture, fruit salad. Fruit salad consists of different type of fruits, strawberry, banana, etc. A lot of fruits. All of them are solids. That's why the type will be, who remember? It is, yes, solid, solid mixture. Another example, oil and water. So oil and water, they are mixture because more than one, they are two types. Oil, liquid, water, also liquid. So the mixture will be liquid, liquid mixture. Amazing. The, second, the third one, sand and water. Sand, solid, water, liquid. We know that. So it is solid, liquid mixture. Amazing. The fourth one, atmospheric air. The air surrounded Earth. So it is all of the, all the component of air are gases. So it is gaseous, gaseous mixture, like carbon dioxide, hydrogen, oxygen, water vapor, all of them are gases. So it's gaseous, gaseous mixture. The last one, soda water. Soda water contains what? Yeah, contain sugary solution and carbon dioxide gas dissolve in it. So the carbon dioxide, it's a gas, and sugary solution, it's a liquid. So it is gaseous liquid mixture. Another question, mention the way of mixture separation. When can each way be used? So another table, mixture and way of separation, how we can separate them. The best way to separate them, sand and iron, both of them are solid, solid, solid mixture. But we have sand, it is non-magnetic substance, not attracted to magnet, while iron, it's a magnetic substance. So we can use a very special method using a magnet to separate iron. So it will be magnetic attraction. Mag magnetic attraction will be used to separate sand and iron. Another, oil and water. So we use separating funnel because they are immiscible liquids. Third one, sand and water. Sand insoluble in water. So we can use filtration process. The fourth one, salt and water. Salt and water, we can use evaporation process. Why? Because salt soluble in water, salt be dupe fil maya. We have another questions, so let's do them. So let's answer another type of question. Put right or wrong and correct the wrong one. Right or wrong question seems to be easy, but it's a little bit tricky. Why? A lot of us forget the correction. So don't forget to correct the wrong one. Let's, just, let's just start with the first one. Evaporation and filtration are ways of mixture separation. Evaporation and filtration. Is that right or wrong? Yes, it is right. Question number two. We use evaporation process in our daily life to separate coffee from water. Is that right or wrong? Coffee from water? Of course it's not. So what is the wrong one? It's not coffee, it will be, of course, salt from water to obtain table salt. Number three, solubility, filtration, and evaporation are ways of mixtures separation. Right or wrong? Solubility, filtration, evaporation. No, it's wrong. Why? 
filtration right, evaporation right, but solubility. Solubility, it's a wrong one. So the correction will be magnetic attraction. Number four, a separating funnel is used to separate immiscible liquid mixture. So that's right or wrong? Immiscible liquid. Okay, that's right. Number five, filtration process is used to separate mixture which are insoluble in water. Insoluble in water by filtration. Okay, okay, it is right. So in, in, insoluble by filtration, it will be right. If it's soluble, we'll do something else. Mention the scientific term. What is the scientific term? Mixture, sever, mixing several type of fruit juices together. Fruit juice, it's liquid, different, so it is liquid, liquid mixture. Another one, dissolving of carbon dioxide gas in sugary solution. Carbon dioxide, it's gas in sugary solution, so it gas use liquid mixture. Third question, leaving some seawater exposed to the sun for many days. So it will be separation. Using what? Separation using filtration. So, so separation by evaporation, sorry. So it is separation by evaporation. Another question, heating salty solution gently, mean slowly. So it will be also separation by evaporation. So expose water to sunlight or heating the solution gently, both are separation by evaporation process. Again, how can the following mixture be separated? Sand, uh, uh, salt, sand solution. Sand solution will be separated by, it's not sand, salt, okay. Salt solution by evaporation while sand by filtration, not evaporation. Paper clips are and flour. So paper clips are iron made up of iron or magnetic material. So it will we will use magnetic attraction. Number three, water and oil. Water and oil, we use separating funnel because they are immiscible liquids. Number four, chuck and water. Chuck and water, chuck insoluble in water. So it will be filtration. Okay, salt by evaporation, paper clips by magnetic attraction, water and oil by separating funnel, chuck and water by filtration. Sugary solution, also sugar dissolve in water. It is soluble in water, so we will use evaporation process. So let's continue our revision. So let's continue, and this is the second lesson, solution. What we have for lesson number two. What is solution? The definition of solution. Solution, it is a special type of mixture. So every solution is a mixture, but not the opposite. Not every mixture is a solution. So every solution is a mixture. Why? Because solution made up of solute and solvent. So it's more than one type of particles. That's why it's a mixture. And particles of solute dissolve in solvent. So it is solution. So solution must be soluble substance. Substance dissolve in the solvent. So the question determine the concept of dissolving process and mention its elements. So what is dissolving process? It is the process by which solute dissolve in a solvent leading to the disappearance of solute. Element of dissolving, we have two elements of dissolving, solute and solvent. Dissolving means solubility process. So solubility process contains solute and solvent. Another question, what are the factors affecting solu solubility or dissolving? Factors affecting solubility or dissolving, they are four. Quantity of solvent, temperature, steering, kind of solute, all of them are 
factors that affect solubility. Also, the surface area or grinding. By increasing surface area, solubility increase or dissolving speed increase. What is the difference between mixture and solution? Who can tell me the difference between them? So we can say the definition of mixture and solution, and that is a difference. It is, the sol it is a substance that consists of more than one type of particles, mixture. And solution, it is a mixture in which solute breaks, breaks it breaks down into its most basic particles that separate through the solvent, spread through the solvent. Being teacher, fi solvent like water, yani. Yani, and there are particles of sand or sugar. Bihsallah, it breaks down, but it cluster to the mo its most basic particles, the particles that are still in it. We can teacher fi solvent. Like when it breaks down, it becomes a solution. Complete the following statements or sentence. In increasing quantity of solvent, solubility time. So solubility time by increasing quantity of solvent, the time needed will be decrease or will increase when using same amount of solvent and solute. So solvent will be, so the time will decreases that reduce the time needed for solubility means the speed increase so speed of solubility increase and time used or the time needed for solubility will decrease increasing space reduces solubility time so what redu what else reduce solubility time increase temperature reduce solubility time the third question, increasing temperature for solubility time when using the same amount of solvent and solute. So the solubility time by increasing temperature, time decreases. Again, space is considered to be a general solvent because it is, it is ability to dissolve or to, of dissolving most material. Which material we said it's a common solvent or considered to be general solvent? Of course, it's water. So water, it is a general or common solvent for most materials. Correct the following statements by changing underlying word. But we have to focus here if they are incorrect. So we have to correct them if they are incorrect. The first question the com components of mixture can be separated easily. Is that right or wrong? Mixture can be separated easily. It's one of the property of mixture, so it's right. Solubility decreases by shaking and rising the temperature. Decreasing, of course, decreasing wrong, it will increase. So solubility increases by shaking and rising temperature. Number three, the solubility speed of solid increases by grinding. Increases by grinding mean increasing surface area, so it is right. Increasing the amount of the solvent decreases the speed of solubility. Decreases the speed, not the time, the speed. So the speed by increasing amount of solvent will increase, not decrease. So speed will increase. Fifth question. Mixtures can be separated by the magnetic attraction, filtration, and evaporation. So it is can be, not cannot, it can be, so it is right. Question number six, separating funnel is used to separate the immiscible liquids mixture. Immiscible means they are not mixed together, so it is right. Which of the following processes takes place faster and why evaporation of an amount of seawater by leaving it in a beaker for several days or heating the same amount on a burner so the faster one heating in a, on a burner why because the temperature here more by increasing because by increasing temperature 
solubility time decrease or solubility speed increase. Grinding solids before adding them to a liquid to dissolve or breaking them down into small pieces. Of course, grinding them will be faster. Why? By grinding, speed increase. By grinding, the surface area increase, so the speed increase also. Dissolving sugar grains or cubes in water. So grains means small particles or cubes of sugars. Of course, grains also because by increasing surface area, solubility increase. Number four, dissolving of an amount of salt in a beaker containing 100 milliliter of water or the same amount of salt in 300 milliliter of water. So which amount of solvent is more? Of course, 300. So in 300 will be taking place faster because by increasing amount of solvent, solubility increase. Another question, state in the solvent and solute in each of. عاوزين نعرف دلوقتي ايه هو السولفنت وايه السوليوت شوغر سوليوشن the solvent will be the solvent water while the solute sugar so solute is sugar solvent water number two salty solution salt is the solute while water is the solvent so that's it for this unit so let's move to unit three unit three environmental balance this unit contains two lessons. The lesson, lesson number one, food relationships among living organisms. Lesson number two, environmental balance. And we started in lesson one, the di different types of food relationships among different living organisms, like predation, symbiosis, and saprophytism. So let's answer some question on this lesson. So the type of food relationship illustrated in the following figure. So in this figure, it's a mosquito feed or live externally, feed externally on a human body. So it is parasitism, external parasitism. Picture number two, it is a fox preys a sea lion. So it will be predation. Another question, a snake preys a rat, so it is predation also. The fourth one, a fruit which decomposed, so it is saprophytism. Another question, complete the following statements or the following sentences. The interaction between a cat and a rat considered as an example of space relationship. So it will be predation. Number two, the relation between fungi and organism, dead body, in an is an example of it is saprophytism. Number three, Bilharzia worm hurts and are named as, named as what? So it's parasite and the human which hurt, it's called host. Mentioned the scientific term, a food relationship between two different organisms. Two different organisms, one of them get benefit and harmed to the other. So it is parasitism. Number two, a food relationship between two organisms, one benefit while the other Neither benefit nor is harmed, it's common cellism. Number three, the food relationship between two organisms that benefit from each other, it is mutualism. What happened if bacteria disappears completely? So if bacteria disappears completely, the Earth's surface will be covered with bodies of dead organisms and that harm the environmental balance. Lesson number two, Predation disappear, predators disappear from an environment including few rabbits. So the number of rabbits will increase, so the food resources becomes insufficient, not enough for rabbits. That leads to combustion 
or co leads to competition between them, so rabbits will die. The herbivorous animals will die. What is the effect of saprophytism? In, in environmental balance, get rid of bodies of dead organisms by decomposing them, recycling the chemical element found in the bodies of dead organisms to the environment. The last question, what is meant by? Ecosystem, ecosystem, it is a natural area. It is a natural area including living organism like plant and animal and non-living organism. So that's it for this revision and see you later. Bye.